Hello to all my friends out there. Hi, you guys. Well, here's my Instapot, and tonight is the night. And I made nourishing rice, and I vented this thing for 45 minutes, and hopefully, you know, I won't be blown from to kingdom come. I didn't really know because, you know, I bought the Instapot um, used. So I thought, for all I know, it's defective. But it seems like I'm not going to give you guys advice on the Instapot because, you know, I wouldn't say I executed the perfect execution, but let's see what happened. It's heavy, I'll tell you that, once you put the food in. Uh, one, good thought, one good thing is the, the food uh, smells good. So I, I, I let it go for 45 minutes and there's a timer that tells you how long it's been. And then I put it on venting and nothing came out. So now I'm gonna open this and hopefully something. Voila. Uh, actually, you know, I was kind of really kind of uh, terrified of the Instapot. So uh, I figured the easiest thing to make would be rice or yogurt. So I started out with rice. And so when I bought the Instapot, this Instapot, you can see this was like in pristine condition, but it didn't come with uh, this part, which is key. Okay, take a look at this. It smells good. So, okay, I didn't blow myself to kingdom come. That's, that's a big relief. I'm drinking Diet Coke in my time of stress. All right, so I have this recipe for nourishing rice. I bought this cookbook. So last month, I made a lot of uh, potatoes. So this month, I do have potatoes over there, but I want to take a little bit of a break from uh, potatoes and eat Try to find some good rice recipes. So let me give you the recipe. Here it is, it's easy enough. And so I adapted this recipe and I just used what I had. Here's the picture. Let me give you a close up of the ingredients. I will put this on Instagram, I mean Twitter. And then I was fortunate because I got the, the person who donated this, put these were inside. I can kind of see why someone would keep the pot. Okay, nourishing rice. I had a half a cup wash rice. So I watch a video. Oh, this looks pretty good. The one thing is if you don't have enough liquid. So it was one cup rice one and a quarter cup water. So I didn't know what I was doing and I was adding other ingredients. So I had one half cup rice and then I had uh, two thirds of a cup and half of a third. So just about a cup, about a cup. And so I had made a uh, curry and I had this stuff left. So I put, you know, that instead of water. I bought sausages, if you saw my video yesterday, here they are. So with my knives, my sharp knives, I pried off too. So I wanna mention something about this hot hamburger or hot dog thing while it's on my mind. Okay, now for a dollar, you're getting six hot dogs as opposed to eight hot dogs. Probably this is what's going on. You go to get hot dogs or no hot dogs, you go to get so let's reduce three fourths. So basically one fourth of your hot dogs, two of your hot dogs are missing. So that's a 25% increase. So that is significant. Okay, so I had two sausages and I so and then I had a one piece of celery and a little red onion. So I sauteed the celery and the onion. Uh, I had roasted bell peppers. Uh, I was buying a lot of fruit and vegetables, so I had three strips. These taste good raw. 
so I had a little oil. I had some red pepper flakes, so here's what I use. But you can use your creative license. You can add any kind of meat or no meat, vegetarians. Uh, one of the followers left a good comment and she said, how about um, chickpeas in the, um, the curry? I just ate mine like soup, but you could serve it over rice. But you could add some kind of beans to this. Oh, wow, this is the best rice. Look at this. This is kind of like the best rice I've ever made in my life. Instapot. I did not want to pay a lot for an Instapot because I have tons of appliances. Now I have two Instapots. Okay, so it suggested lemons on the side, so I have some lemon because I bought all these lemons marked down for a dollar. And so I noticed that I don't mind a, a weak iced tea if it has lemon. So I made iced tea. There's some lemon in there and I'm getting it cold. That is for tomorrow. And then I have uh, the cilantro was really good on my, um, on my curry. So I thought I'm going to add a little bit to my nourishing rice. And then I'm going to pour a tiny bit of lemon. One thing about uh, this is I chopped the, this is very cheap. I chopped the sausages and the celery and the onion. So I have a cutting board, but take a look at this. Nourishing rice. All right, now let's taste it. So I'm trying to find uh, recipes that are, let me taste the rice first. That tastes good with the lemon on it. That'll do. You know, us thrifty people are going to be just fine. I did a whole video on the penny pinchers. I'm not saying be a miser. I'm not saying be a misery maker. But I'm not saying spend your money either. So here is some of the banana bread I made out of a, a little muffin mix package. That will be good. So, um... It's like one day at a time. You make a little dinner, maybe work on a few projects. Now, where is my... Okay, so today I had uh, macaroni and bologna salad left. That was good left over, that really was. Okay, at the beginning of the month, I bought some frozen food thinking this is gonna tide me over. But then when there was no bologna, I thought, just buy some cheap meat and then you're set. So I had bought the Walmart chicken, the $5 bag. So I was wondering something about that bag of $5 uh, Walmart chicken. And it has two stars. So if you're picky about your chicken, you might not like it. But what I did is at the beginning of the month, at the first mention of this... Uh, chicken thing so far 27 million chicken and turkeys have been killed i bought a bag of five dollar chicken and when i bought this um sausage bologna what did i buy hot dogs bologna sausages and bacon i thought i can't fit them in my freezer but i had eaten my freezer down and i did and i bought a cheap bacon uh pizza I don't know, I think on frozen pizza, you should just buy a decent pizza so when you go to get a piece, of, I'm thinking about those individual pizzas at Walmart. And I bought a bag of chicken nuggets, thinking that was gonna get me through the month. These are good, like, instead of buying them, uh, make some fries if you've got quiet. So, 
So I figured that was going to last me. But then I bought hot dogs, bologna, sausages, and bacon. Just make sure. Okay, they, they've mentioned the food banks and pantries are giving out a lot of food. So if you need food, this is a good time to get some. But the lines, I guess, are longer. Um, I would suggest, uh, you know, finding some people who are rather thrifty on uh, YouTube. Okay, what they're saying is a lot of people are going to the pantries and people are cutting back on non-essential items like Netflix. I'm not giving mine up. I watch I'm a, movies from time to time. Okay, I want to mention something. Thanks to Jan from New York City, I've been saving my dollar a day. And at the end of the month, I should have $30 if nothing goes wrong. <laughs> And so uh, I want to mention something. So, you know, let's say the first of the month comes and I have my $30 and I don't spend my $30. Then next month, I don't have to spend a dollar a day. I have $30. And so then say next month, I save $20. At the end of the month, I have $50. And I don't spend that. I save that. And so the next month, I have $50. And so, you know, in time, you're not going to be as broke. Okay, let's take Ellen's Abundant Life on less. Ellen saved $500 simply by not shopping. And so let's say the beginning of the month, Ellen has her $500 and she does not spend it. And then she doesn't have to save five more hundred dollars. She could, but she doesn't have to. She has saved $500, so maybe in the short term, until we see that the inflation is not so bad, maybe, uh, like in my case, okay, so I bought a lot of food, I have plenty of clothes, so maybe what would happen if I drastically reduced my spending? So today, what did I buy? I bought a little Diet Coke, and I bought $10 worth of gas. That's it. That's enough. And I don't really need more stuff. You know, during the pandemic, this is a cute, cute uh, bracelet. I sell these for a dollar. This is a cute watch. Uh, it's hard to make money on these because even if you buy them for um, $5, it costs you $8 for a battery now. So, you know, you can go buy a new one for less money than this. Not this cute, and this, you know, is a chronograph. But, I mean, you know, it's harder to make money. So, uh, let's say we just said, okay, at this point, if we stockpile food and non-food items, and we could go for, say, okay, let's just say one day at a time, like tomorrow, uh, just don't spend any money. Find some cheap recipes that you like. Uh, this won't cause me any hardship at all. And then I just keep the rest. It made quite a bit. This was, um, this was, let's see, what was this? This was uh, about a one third cup rice. So, no, a half cup rice. I don't want too many uh, leftovers because, you know, there's a lot of food in my um, in my freezer. So let's say if you're running out of food at the end of the month and then say you get some money at the first of the month and you say to yourself, okay, I can stay in this vicious cycle or I can be, you know, eating maybe like only every other day some of these sausages, maybe only a couple times a week sausages or hot dogs or rice meals or noodle meals, you know, um, maybe hamburger. What I always used to buy is hamburger, chicken, and bacon. But if you buy hot dogs, bologna, sausages, and uh, bacon, along with your, and pork chops, um, you know, you can reduce your food. So, and you know, make stuff now, the, the Instapot makes me nervous. So tomorrow, no Instapot. I don't want to go through that again. Maybe uh, the next thing I would try to make is some yogurt. 
But if you want one of these, try to get one at the thrift store. Okay, you guys, please like, comment, and subscribe, and God bless you all.